the beauty of permissions in Rakiva is you have full control over how they're used. And with all that power at your disposal, you might wonder if you're using it to the fullest. Let's explore some tips and tricks to speed up your workflow and ensure the right people have the right access at the right time. Eliminate unnecessary errors by eliminating unnecessary users. Okay, I know that sounds harsh, but hear me out. When you create a folder, you're automatically granted owner permissions. So you'll be able to apply permissions at the folder, subfolder, file, and even document section level. This means you're in the driver's seat. You decide who can view, edit, or if you're feeling generous, even allow other users to have full ownership. Now, granting a user folder permissions doesn't mean they'll automatically have access to the contents of that folder. So when someone needs access to a folder and all the data it contains, save yourself a little time by assigning those permissions using the folder and files option. And they'll automatically filter down to all the subfolders and files. And when you're creating subfolders or adding files, no need to worry about tinkering with additional permissions. As long as they're created from within the folder, they'll automatically inherit the permissions applied to the parent folder. With advanced permissions, you can batch apply permissions to individuals or groups and see current access levels laid out in front of you all in one place. You'll save precious time, no longer painstakingly granting dozens of users access one by one, all while eliminating the risk of incorrect permission assignments. So there you have it. Understanding everything permissions in Workiva has to offer lets you control user access how you see fit. From a folder all the way down to the section of a document, the granularity and versatility of permissions gives you the peace of mind, knowing that Dave from Accounting has full access to your 10K and not your grocery list.